TikTok is a mobile editing app for people who want to show off their lip sync skills, talent, and comedy skits. It was originally called Musical.ly, but a Chinese company by the name of Fight Dance rebranded the app and the name, which is now known as TikTok. The app has unique features, such as filters, effects, and much more. According to CNN, TikTok was downloaded over 80 million times in the U.S. alone. I was able to speak with Michael Gorka about her experience with using TikTok. I've had TikTok since probably the seventh grade because it was kind of getting popular then. I wanted to, I don't know, I guess be cool, I guess, in that mindset. Um, but now I'm just kind of, kind of like addicting. I don't, like, I guess once you get started, it's very, oh my god, I do this and that, and it's very hard to get away from. Gorka was stuck at over 1,000 followers, but soon just reached 3,000, which for her was a big improvement. I feel like back then, it was musically obviously, you had a lot of cringeworthy things. I feel very accomplished, like looking back and seeing what I did and what I do now, and there's just a huge difference. And there was a really, really big glow up. <laughs> I plan on doing it after high school because I don't see the point of just like dropping it like that. Um, with also having TikTok, it leads to a lot of other things because I have it connected to my Instagram and my Snapchat. And I have fans literally <laughs> texting me all day and it's just so cool. Of course, having TikTok can mean dealing with negativity and hate comments. Okay, there's two different types of people on TikTok. There's a group of people, they literally make accounts just to go like, like make fun of them and stuff, and it's really rude. And then you have people who like comfort you, I guess. And you get a lot of compliments on there and it makes you feel really good about yourself. TikTok is a very open place for people. And that's where a lot of people let out their feelings and like people come out there. That's where I came out. <laughs> I don't think TikTok is just cringe and all that because I mean if you really wanted to say that you could say Instagram is cringe or Twitter and all the stuff. But basically it's just social media and it really shouldn't be a big deal to you. I mean if you're not doing it then stay out of it I guess, you know.